Hello, this is Travis for Sliver Surfer 1. A while back I did a video to try to find out whether IBIS or OSS is better. IBIS being the, or IBIS, being the internal body image stabilization, the movement of the sensor to correct for shakiness, or uh, OSS, which is the optical uh, steady shot. I use Sony, so I call it optical steady shot, um, but it's also called optical, you know, image stabilization in some platforms and might be called something else in, in other ones. But the cameras that I used were older cameras uh, that I, I, I've used for a while. The example I used for the IBIS was this camera. It's a Pentax K5. Okay, it's got very good in-body stabilization, um, but it's fairly old, okay? Uh, it's an older camera. Um, it was made in, uh, yeah, it was made in this year. Um, I've had this one for a long time, and I'll never get rid of it. It's a good camera for doing macro photography, and uh, it's very, it's uh, very robust. It's okay. Uh, and the other two cameras, uh, by the way, I had a manual lens on this one uh, with no image stabilization when I, I tested it. It was a, a 70 to 210, I believe. Okay. And the other camera was my uh, Sony A6000, which was made in this year, down here. Um, it had a 70 to 210 uh, lens on it as well, but it was a um, optical steady shot lens. Okay, and it, um, so we tested them all at 200 millimeter focal length. Okay, and there was one more camera I tested. It was the Fuji XT10. Right? Yeah. I, don't have my Fuji X-T10 anymore. I got rid of it. Uh, it wasn't my cup of tea. It's a good camera. Um, but it wasn't robo robust enough for me. Uh, so I had some things fall apart on it. And the amount of customization that you could do in the menus as the Sony A6000. And it was just... Those cameras are, are so close to each other in image quality. Um, but I got rid of the Fuji because it had less pixels in it. It wasn't as customizable. Um, and the uh, RAWs weren't... Uh, I couldn't use them in my old Lightroom 5, but I switched to Lightroom. But that doesn't matter. This is a camera made by my daughter. Uh, and the lens that was on that one was the 55-200. Uh, the to 200. It was a really good lens. And the, it was optical image stabilization in the Fuji. The Fuji was made in this year. When I used these cameras and tested them to see which one had the better stabilization, it was the two lenses, hands down. They they really outperformed the in-body stabilization of the K5. Um, so, you know, and that went with everything I had heard at the time uh, about those those uh, cameras and their lenses and the image stabilization. Um, but I was on a forum and, you know, I was saying that, yeah, the lens stabilization is better than uh, in-body stabilization. And uh, a member of the forum said, no, where do you, where do you hear that? And I'd li I like to test things out to see for myself to see if it works. And, you know, like he could have been right. Um, so what I did recently is I got a Sony a7 II because they just went down in price because of the uh, Sony a3 coming out all right and I can't afford a Sony a3 so I got that and what came with it was the 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 kit lens the 28 to 70 uh, millimeter kit lens uh, came with it the FE Sony FE lens came with it when I bought it so I thought this is a perfect time to, to check out uh, a more recent uh, 
comparison of the body compared to the the uh, lens okay so what I did was I took my old a7 okay my trusty you know 50,000 shots on this thing uh, a7 and I threw the lens onto it okay this lens let's see if we can get this in focus this lens has optical steady shot okay so I threw this lens on the a7 because I I mostly shoot in manual anyways um, so I never had a more current uh, you know full frame lens and what I did was I threw on my Sony a7 II my favorite standard zoom which is the Tamron Adapt Doll 35 to 80 lens and I set both of them to 70 millimeters and I'm gonna set them we'll see what I'll I have to set the F stop at but I'm gonna set them both to 70 millimeters and I'm gonna go out and shoot with them at both at 70 millimeters and at the same aperture same F stop and I'm also gonna shoot them at the same uh, very very slow speed okay as it's gonna be miserable slow speed um, because I want most of them to fail so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out shoot with these and uh, take a bunch of shots four shots of each and I'll pick the best of each one of those shots and put up a little s sample gallery for you to see the results okay Thanks. All right, so I'm back. I shot with the two lenses, and I was surprised, as you say in the, the photos that you just saw, I was surprised. The lens couldn't keep up with the, the body in body stabilization of the A7 II. Now, I don't know if it's because of the A7 body being so old. This thing did a pretty great job the, the Sony A7 II did a really good job in body stabilization with this manual lens. Um, I shot them all at, uh, as you saw, at a half second uh, at f27 and I put them both into, I put one in Lightroom, developed it, the A7 in Lightroom, and then I tried loading my uh, A7 II into the Lightroom and it wouldn't read the uncompressed file, raw files so then I did them in capture one and I put them side by side when I was developing them so that I could match them up as close as I could um, but I didn't do any sharpening um, and you could see that the, the in-body stabilization beat the the lens in pretty much all the um, all the shots I took I, I took four shots and picked the best one um, and there was one instance where I shot straight up into the trees. It was really windy. You could see leaves moving around. But I shot straight up into the trees. And every single shot. And I was careful. Because I was, I was rooting for what I thought. <laughs> right? I was hoping I was still right. But I, I'm also really glad that I'm not right. Because I love manual lenses. And to have that quality of stabilization in, in a manual lens is awesome. But... I shot straight up into the the, the canopy uh, of leaves with the with the Sony FE lens with the optical sta stabilization, 
and it couldn't stabilize looking straight up. I don't know why, uh, but it would not stabilize looking straight up, which is kind of odd to me. Now, there might be other lenses out there that are better at doing this, but yeah, I, the I Ibis one hands down. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos with my A7 II. This is the first week I've had it, and I don't think I'm going to be running it with autofocus lens because I do manual most of the time. I'm going to keep the, I'm going to keep my A7 as my backup camera, camera with the kit lens on it because the the camera doesn't have Ibis, uh, and the lens has um, OSS. So this will be a good second camera to have in case I have to catch something fast. Um, so yeah. Yep. Ibis wins. Yay! Manual lenses rock. Thanks for watching. Uh, smash that like button, please. Uh, and comment. I love your comments. I will answer all your comments. Um, subscribe and watch these videos, please.